Never give up and always keep fighting, because though times may be tough, the sacrifices do pay off. So just keep pushing towards your dream and just love it at the same time and enjoy it. Hard days are the best because that's when champions are made. My message is to never quit, never give up. When you have a little trouble here and there, just keep fighting. In the end, it will pay off. Even if you have the talent, you still have to push yourself. I don't think dreams magically appear, that's why they're called dreams. But if you do want to make that dream a reality, then you have to push yourself. It takes a lot of hard work, and if you don't have the focus, then it's going to be all the harder. If you have a big dream, it takes all of the above to achieve it, passion, the focus, and the effort. Gold medals are made out of sweat, blood, and tears and effort in the gym every day. The most important thing is to believe in yourself and know that you can do it. Never quit. Never give up. You know, God has a plan for me, and I'm going to follow in his footsteps and just rejoice and be happy. Don't be afraid to speak up for yourself. Keep fighting for your dreams. No one is going to feel sorry for you, so you have to go out there and be fierce. If you push through the hard days you can get through anything. For me going down in history being the first black American to win the gold, I think more colored people are going to start coming to the gymnastics world and say okay, anything is possible. If Gabby did it, then I can do it too. Always be courageous and strong, and don't fear. I don't know where this is coming from. What's wrong with my hair? I'm like I just made history and people are focused on my hair. It can be bald or short, it doesn't matter about my hair. Nothing is going to change. I'm going to wear my hair like this during beam and bar finals. You might as well just stop talking about it. If we set our minds, we can achieve anything. You just have to be yourself and go full with confidence and be courageous. Sacrifices are not in vain. At the end, everything will pay off. Believe, don't fear, believe. Always be courageous and strong, and don't fear. You've got to be confident when you're competing. You've got to be a beast. I had to face a lot coming through this journey, a lot of sacrifices, difficulties, challenges, and injuries. I've learned how to stay humble. I don't want to get in over my head because when you do that it takes you off your game. To win Olympic gold it takes a lot of hard work, a lot of passion, a lot of sacrifices. It's kind of a win-win situation. The glory goes up to him and the blessings fall down on me. It is everything I thought it would be being the Olympic champion, it definitely is an amazing feeling. And I give all the glory to God. It's kind of a win-win situation. The glory goes up to him and the blessings fall down on me. Let all that I am praise the Lord, may I never forget the good things he does for me. You need your mom and dad to protect you. It means they love you so much. It was awesome she was backing me up and defending me. The hard work definitely paid off and hard work always does. I accomplished something big and that's a memory I will never forget. My mom used to tell me when I was little, when it rains, it's God's manifestation of big days waiting to happen. You want to picture yourself being on top and doing amazing gymnastics. Don't be shy. Go for it and ask your crush out. I was just, you know, kind of getting racist jokes, 
kind of being isolated from the group. So, it was definitely hard. I would come home at night and just cry my eyes out. Everyone was telling me you have this great potential, and you can be on top. I didn't believe that, but everyone was just telling me to believe in myself. I did and I'm kind of up on top and it's amazing. I would love to be remembered as someone who inspired young girls never to give up on their dreams. I don't like to try strange foods. I like to explore different foods, but if you ask me to eat crocodile or frogs, I'm like no. That's where I draw the line. I just spent my whole life training and focused on one thing, I really don't even think about after the fact. It's like, oh yes, I have to do something after. Gymnastics does take great focus and concentration. What I do is look to my coach. He keeps me focused. And I meditate to get myself confident before the competition floor. That helps keep me focused, too. I like squirrels. They're so adventurous. I give myself a pep talk and visualize the routine. I tell myself, I can do this, let's go. I wanted to finish on a stronger note. Fighting through that routine, you know what I was like, I'm just fighting through. I would love to be a role model. Let all that I am praise the Lord, may I never forget the good things he does for me. I wanted to tell my story and where I came from and my background, because it was not easy. I just want to continue with gymnastics because I'm still young and fresh. I think can get some more titles under my belt. I just want to inspire all those people who gave up and said, I quit, never give up. I used to have this lucky rock and I used to always have to rub it three times before I competed. I want to do all roles. The sky's the limit. I kind of do think of myself as a superhero and just flying high and doing these crazy flips. Did I choose my hair texture? No. I'm grateful for having this hair on my head. I have no regrets coming back for a second Olympic team, in 2016. It's been an amazing experience. It's been teaching me a lot. I'd tell any girl who continues to love gymnastics enough to want to pursue a college scholarship to keep pushing yourself 100% in the gym every single day. I wrote the book Grace, Gold and Glory because I had to overcome many challenges and hardships. I wanted to share my story to let anyone facing hardships know that your dream is still possible. Words can't even describe how much Olympic medals means to me, because of all the hard work, sacrifice, and effort I put in at the gym, and also because of how much my family supported me and sacrificed their dreams for mine. It also means a lot to me, knowing that I became the first African American to win the individual all-around gold medal. I'm a very good bowler, which I discovered a few months ago. I love how everybody just brings a different personality to the mix and everyone's different in their own way. There's a lot of energy, that's the vibe of Team USA. I blast Northern Sky, by the Capital Kings, on the way there, but at the gym, I totally zone out. Serena Williams, inspires me. The first time I met her, she was like, we should hang out and go to dinner, and I'm like, uh, yeah. If you insist. The other girls, in team, have experience. They've been competing on a lot of international world-class stages. They knew what to expect and what to do and what not to do. Me and Ali, Rayman, just gave them advice on the media side. We said, it's going to be crazy. It's the Olympics. But it's going to be fun. 
I like to hike and play with my dogs and spend time with my family. We go out to family dinners a lot. I was supporting Ali, Rayman. I will always support them and respect them. I don't want anyone to take it as jealous or I wanted attention. Sometimes I like to watch videos of myself and see how confident I was. I'm not going to lie, I love Usain Bolt and Serena Williams. What I love about Serena is that she just gets on the floor, and she dominates. She handles her business very well, I respect that. I think I would go for a Michael Phelps kind of guy. I wake up at about 9 a.m. and have a few hours of school or time to relax. Then, I have practice at 2.30 p.m. with my team. My mom says I'm a fighter, a fierce competitor, and I think I am, too. I googled Gabby Douglas, and all these things popped up like Gabby Douglas makes history. And she's the champion. Nothing is going to change. I'm going to wear my hair like this during beam and bar finals. You might as well stop talking about it. It's very tough for me to focus. I'm like, look, something shiny. No, focus. Oh, there goes a butterfly. I've been on a tweeting mission. It's definitely important to have your mom and family there to back you up and cheering from the stands. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.